Hello everybody. In the comment section of my diamond tutorial I was asked how I would model a seashell. <clears throat> so let's go. First I start with a sphere. In front view rotate it by 90 degrees. Then go to the side view select one quarter here, invert selection, hit the delete key and tab out of subdivision mode. <coughs> now let me show the grid. This by the way will become the end of the seashell, the opening mechanism or closing mechanism. But first I must go to top view, delete this half, deform, bend, five hundred millimeters here. It's going to be a big shell and bend this until we still have a natural rounding here. <clears throat> Let's say minus 30 degrees. Drop the tool. Now I can select all this here. Uh, vertex, set position, zero on the X and then duplicate, mirror, but first we must deselect everything mirror over the X, apply, and the words have merged. Yes. So side view again. I think I will remove this part here. So it's not a right angle. Delete. I go to base, then select the curve tool and make a curve like this. I'm going to combine spline cage modeling with traditional modeling for this exercise here. So top view again. I select this here and press the J key to lock this geometry. Then go to duplicate, radial array, action center is origin, apply. Then drop the tool, drop the helix generator, hit the E key but action center still origin, then I rotate it to about here, so minus 70 degrees. Drop the tool. Now I go to perspective mode and activate symmetry on X, then vertex mode, select these words, Oh, I must first unlock my geometry, so the I key to unlock it. Shift click on these words and bring together. Then here, same here. And the last one should also go to here. Yes. Now I can go to top view and select my end here, hit the R key and bring this out till we have a kind of natural flow here and here. Maybe so. Drop the tool. 
we don't need this for the moment, so control X, N for a new mesh, control V, and we don't need to see this one. Perspective again, and I think we better have a look at the words, but we don't need the grid. So top view, I select all these vertices, hit the P key. Oh, I should have turned off symmetry, but it seems not the problem. Now I need to change my lasso. P key again. And P key again. <clears throat> I go back to my rectangle. I am somehow more familiar with this. Go to perspective mode and have a first look. It is a good habit when you have finished your cage before you really finish it. When you go to basic mode and activate the patch curves tool and click in the viewport and check if all your segments have four handles. So let's drop that tool and go back to our mesh here or to our cage. I think I put symmetry on again on the X. Select these vertices and go to vertex set position 0 on the Y. Yes. Now I think we need to do something with these two. So go to front view, W key, but action center standard modo and bring this down till this curve here, come on, looks right. Okay, now this one, W key, bring it up like so, perspective, let's see what else, mm -hmm. that looks not bad. Top view again, now I select these vertices, W key and make this a bit more round, like so. Drop the tool. Mm, maybe even a bit more W. So, okay, so basic, and now we patch these, and I do it two by two, so it doesn't really matter where I start. Okay, drop the tool. Now I can select these polygons, control X, go to the new mesh, control V, bring them in. We don't need to see the cage. We don't need to see the vertices. I can now go out of symmetry also. L key, delete, delete this as well. And first I merge all the words together. This one, this one's okay. Now here is uh, one half of our shell, top view. I select uh, all these vertices here, go to vertex, set position 0 on the X, then drop the selection, duplicate, mirror, 
over the x apply, then vertex merge automatic. Yes, they have merged like so. Perspective. Now I make a very small uh, extrusion here. So set key, extrude this just a bit, drop the tool, then I go to polygon, thicken. I will make it 20 millimeters and make sure your max smoothing angle is 90 degrees. Otherwise you get the problem. I know I use sometimes, depending on the mesh, 150 degrees, but here you have to use 90, otherwise it looks wrong. So here we go. We have one part of our shelf, uh, shell, and I bring in the grid quickly, side view, W, bring this up a bit, like so, drop the tool, select all these vertices here, vertex, set position, zero on the Y, drop the tool, then duplicate, mirror, on the Y, apply.